Oh! <gasps> Whoa, guys. Oh my God, she's beautiful. Oh, I am I'm in love with her. Like I have so many feels right now. I love this child and this child unfortunately does not exist. Hey guys, welcome to a new video. I am so excited for this video. I've been kind of talking to you guys about it a little bit and then I posted ideas for it or requests for ideas for it on one of my community posts. But I am so excited because in this video, we are going to get to take a look at royal children who never happened. I'm going to basically have like royal couples having babies and these royal couples like never ended up together. So it's gonna be really cool. We're gonna get to see all these babies that like never happened, but it's gonna be so much fun. If you guys are excited, make sure you hit that like button and let's go ahead and take a look at these royal babies. Okay, so I got a good amount of requests. I got, so I, I posted this on my community post. So I'm not gonna be able to do all of these, but I am going to post some of the kids like afterwards. So I'll post like screenshots of some of the kids, like any that we didn't get to. There's some main ones I definitely want to get to. I definitely want to get to May and Johan's children because that is like, I feel like the big one that everyone really wants to see. So I'm excited to see that. I'm going to save that one for last though, because that should be very, very interesting. But so some of these also, so I did, re I got requests for like where I, I got requests for King George and Queen Arya, which is like a, like a few generations before the generation we're at now. So they actually are gone. And I said, we could like use sims that have passed away but i actually couldn't get their sims to like i couldn't find their ghosts basically so and i, I didn't save them in my library because i was dumb and I, I haven't saved like any of my sims from like the past generations the only like the, i only saved like i think when king henry and, and queen alice had kids so i didn't save any of them so unfortunately we can't do those couples i really want to though that would be a lot of fun if i find some way to bring their ghosts back to life i'd love to do another video like this in the future because there are some sims that we're not gonna get to like i know some people after seeing the last episode of the royal family might want to see what like johanna mir's kids would look like but I don't actually know if they're going to end up getting together or not so I'm going to save that for another time if they don't end up getting together so we'll get to see them. So the first one we're going to start with is going to be Marchioness Anna. I know it says Marquis Anna. I keep forgetting to change it. So it's Marchioness Anna and King Edmund. So this one I actually debated doing because Marchioness Anna looks like her sister Queen Cora who actually married King Edmund but I still feel like it'd be fun. I'm trying to veer away from doing like two many of the siblings whose actual sibling ended up like with the other person because they do have similar features usually like Cora and Anna do have very similar features they have the same color hair and everything so I don't know how much of a surprise this is going to be but I figured this would be a good one to start with since they are like the kind of like the the older generation like the rest of these aren't as much of like the older generation but I still feel like this will be fun so for them I do want to see so Edmund and Cora they had two boys so I kind of want to see what their ooh okay so I want to see what their daughter would look like so i do want to start with i i, I kind of want oh guys oh she's so cute okay so i i kind of just want to start with like them as a toddler so we can like play around with some of like the hairstyles and stuff i'd like to start like maybe doing some hairstyles that i don't normally do because like i always do just like the custom content stuff uh just because the hairstyles are like very very cute so there's like this one that's really really cute so well I, i'm not gonna spend like too much time picking their outfits although it's going to be very hard not to I've got to admit. So like Princess Belle, she ended up with like kind of curly blonde hair. So this definitely is not curly blonde hair. So this would be their daughter. I, I'm not going to do like a boy and a girl for each of the couples just because I feel like that would take too long. However, I do want to see what each of the kids would look like, like kind of like in each phase. So like toddler, child, and then teenager because I think that would be a lot of fun so I am going to kind of take a look what they would or what they would look like for that so I feel like I should probably wear some like tights or something like that just to be like a little more conservative although this is the kind of like okay there you go I like the little polka dots I think that's really cute so I think I figured this would be like a good time to use a lot of your guys's baby names so these are obviously like not sims that we're actually going to end up playing with and I will still use the like if the baby names I use for these I'll, I'll still use other baby names for the future but I just figured it'd be a good time to like use some other baby names. So this one will just name her. So if, if she were to be King Edmund's daughter, she would be, well, I, we're not going to be able to fit like 
princesses and all of that in here. So we're just going to do Veronica. So we'll just say this is Veronica Willow. We'll pick a, a little trait for her too. So I'm not going to do like, well, I guess we could do formal outfits and stuff because I guess you guys would want to see what they would look like in like super cute formal outfits and everything too. We've got like, oh guys, we have like these balls. That's a new one that I haven't used. I gotta say, I'm not the biggest fan of it. I'll probably end up getting rid of that one for sure because I'm not the biggest fan of that. That one's really cute too though, but like I just like the ball gowns and everything. But you guys are gonna see some of these other kids wearing ball gowns. Well, okay, you know what? We'll, we'll see it with the ball gown. I think that'll be fine. So I'll use some of the colors. They don't, actually surprisingly don't have blue, which I find very odd because like blue is the royal colors of Willow Creek. So they don't have blue, which I find like a tad bit strange, but that's fine. We'll, we'll do like, let's do the white dress. I feel like that's really cute. So we'll do the white dress. So this would be their daughter. So this would be Veronica, Princess Veronica Willow. And then we would put like a small little tiara on her too. We can see her also in like her child stage. So as a child, this would be Veronica too. So she had, uh, I did stick with like a little bit of wavy hair when she was a toddler. So let's try to find something like a little bit wavy and cute. There's this one. I I haven't actually used this one a lot. I could just stick with like the short hair for her too. I feel like that would be fine. And I'm just going to pick a long dress for her too. So this would be her, I feel like her hair does need to be like up though. Maybe I'll put her hair up in like a ponytail or there's like, there's this one with like little space buttons, which is actually really cute. This one has a headband. So I feel like it's a little bit distracting. And then we have like one with a braid. So, okay, I don't know. And then we have like, just like this, which is like a simple like updo and everything too. Guys, I really don't have that many updos for the like children. I need to download a lot more hairs. Be oh, wow, oh, this is cute. <gasps> Guys, that's cute. Okay, well that doesn't have long hair, but her hair's up and I feel like this is really, really pretty. So I think that's cute. I'm just gonna give her like a little bit of makeup too. So we can, oh wait, no, 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 I don't want that one. So yeah, we can just give her like a little bit of makeup. So she looks really cute, you guys. I'm gonna give her some earrings too, because that is going to be very pretty. And then we'll give her like a little neck necklace as well. So this is Veronica as a child, guys. She's so, so cute. This would be Anna, or yeah, Anna and Edmund's daughter. Oh my God, guys, that's her. Okay, and I just like, okay, so then we get to see the next phase, which is going to be a teenager. So we'll get to see her as a teenager. So I do want to pick some different hairstyles and stuff for her as well. Okay, so I kind of like this hairstyle on her. Like it's not, it's not short, but it, it's like a medium length. And I don't think I use this hairstyle a lot either. So I think that's actually really cute. I do you want to add some eyelashes on her because I do love having the eyelashes on all the Sims. And then I kind of just want to see her in like, ugh, guys, I wish you could preset styled outfits. That would be like, just make things like so much easier. Oh, I actually haven't used this dress yet. This is actually very, very cute. Oh, I do want to go with like the blue because technically she would be the queen uh, or the princess of Willow Creek. So she would have like all of their colors. And then when I went to the style looks, it does get rid of the eyelashes. But guys, oh my gosh, so she looks so, so cute. So this would be like a little everyday outfit for her. I now want to see what like her formal dress would look like. Oh my gosh, God. <gasps> I haven't used this yet. Oh my gosh. <gasps> guys, uh, does this look amazing or what? Oh my god. Okay, so I'm gonna look at some updos for her too. I definitely want to change those earrings. I'm not the biggest fan of those earrings. Guys, this is so, so, oh my god, this is so cute. Stop. <gasps> oh, maybe I should go with like the hair from like the one that the child, like she as as a child her sim was wearing too. She's so beautiful. Okay, she, I can see, I can see Princess Belle in her face. I don't know if you guys can see her too, but she does look like Princess Belle, which I, well, that doesn't prove anything. I was like, so I don't know if that comes from like Cora or Edmund because Anna and Cora look similar. And then Edmund is obviously the father to, to both Belle and, and the so-called Veronica. So I, but I do, I see their face. Like I see Belle's face. I kind of see like Louis's face in her too. So I feel like this is like Louis if, if he was a girl. Oh my God, guys, she looks so beautiful too. So that, okay, so that's one. So I'm kind of gonna like save the children because I, I, I would like to make them into like their own 
household kind of so I can upload them to the gallery for you guys too. Okay, so the next royal couple that I want to try that is also a, like from a sibling is King Jared and Queen Lindsay. And this was like probably the most requested couple on there because King Jared and Queen Lindsay were actually supposed to get married. They were arranged to get married before King Jared fell in love with Queen Nina. So I'm surprised a lot of people remember that too. Like you guys have a really good memory, but yeah, so that was like way in the beginning of the series. That was like episode like between like episodes like 12 and like 18 or something like that. So this is very, very early on. But of course, King Jared is the brother of Adrian, which was Queen Lindsay's husband, which she ended up having all the kids with. So they might not look too different. I'm trying to think maybe we'll just we'll, we'll see what their like baby would be like, like a boy because we well, we just did a girl. So I don't know. I, I, I'm just curious because Lindsay had two boys and two girls and then Jared had two boys. But it's fine. I, I, I want to see what like their boy would look like. Okay, so okay, so this is their son. So I do want to chant. I'm actually really not a big fan of these I, whoa guys, he definitely has Lindsay's eyes. Like they're they're actually huge. And you can just tell as a toddler, which is a little bit scary to be honest. I might keep the long hair because I know that some, I don't, we don't usually use this hairstyle for boys. So we can definitely do that. And then I do want to pick some outfits. So if she married Jared, technically they still would have been the royal family of Oasis Springs. But I, I don't know. I, I don't know what, like what kind of outfits to choose for them, like in which style. But let, let's do Oasis Springs. Springs because I don't think we're going I think this is the only like Oasis Springs kind of family that you guys are going to end up seeing so this is I think I'm pretty sure Lord of J is wearing that one so maybe I'll just have them wear this so you guys can see that there's also this too but let, let's go with this one I like the little stars on it that's actually really, really really cute let's name him why don't we name well okay so I promised someone that I would name the next boy of Oasis Springs Manuel so I, I would use that for this name but if Princess, if Queen Nea has a boy for her next baby, then I would name him Prince Manuel. So maybe I won't do that. Why don't we go? Oh, there's Theo. Oh, Theo is really cute. Okay, I'm gonna go with that one. So we're gonna do Prince Theo. And oh my god, wait, did I do that to his eyes? I do not remember doing that, guys. He looks absolutely terrifying. That's not okay. <laughs> I'm not okay with that for his eyes. Okay, so this is Prince Theo. So we're gonna get to see him in his like different stages of life. So Prince Theo and oh gosh. Okay, so this is going to be him as a child. And we'll do like a nice little suit or something. Oh, there's this too, guys. I forgot that I could do this for a child because this is a new custom content that I got. Oh, that's that one's like kind of plain. The other one was a lot more fancy. Like this is fancy. That's fancy too. I like that. Okay, so that's Prince Theo as a child So you guys get to see he's super super cute and then we can now see him as a teenager So oh, oh, who does he look like? I feel like he looks like Prince Michael But with brown hair kind of like if I changed his hair to blonde He does he kind of looks like Prince Michael, but with brown hair So that's so interesting to see I actually love his hairstyle on him, too But it kind of looks like someone else too and I can't put my finger on it entirely. I think I'm just gonna pick like a formal outfit for him. I actually really love this. He looks so good. Oh guys, that's so interesting because we didn't get to see like the boys of Oasis Springs. They didn't get to, oh sorry if I was like just yelling. I feel like I was just talking really, really loud. But we didn't get to see the boys of Oasis Springs with like with brown hair, like they both turned out blonde. So I actually really like to see, oh, I would love to see like a blonde girl of theirs. I don't want to spend too much time on this though. So if, if, if we don't end up spending that much time on this, then I can definitely like go back to them and like see what what a girl would look like for them. But for now, why don't we do, I don't I don't know why I'm picking an aspiration. I do want to upload this to the gallery for you guys at the end of this. So that is Prince Theo. So, oh guys, it, it looks so good. I love seeing what the royal kids would have looked like. Oh my gosh, these are Sims that like could have been in our series and everything. That's so interesting. Okay, so next one is going to be super interesting, guys. We get to see what Amira and Makai's child would have looked like. I was debating doing this because I wasn't even sure if like Amira and Makai might end up together, but if they do, it's not the end of the world. I feel like it's fine. We get to like have a sneak peek of what their child would look like and they might not even look like this. Let's do, oh, I don't know. Let's, let's do a girl for them. I want to see what their girl would look like. Okay. Oh, 
Whoa, guys. Oh my God, she's beautiful. Okay, I want to see what the toddler would look like first. So let's start with the toddler for them. Whoa, guys, the eyes. Okay, so the, the eyes do freak me out a little bit. So I am going to pick something a little... I think I th that was pretty much what her eyes were. So let's go ahead and do... I like these, I think. Those are really, really pretty. So let's go with these for her eyes. Okay, we got to think of a name too. This one is so pretty, guys. So we could do Gwendolyn. I do want to keep... Like, like the the like princess in front of the names for you guys I so I might change hers to like Ronnie like princess Ronnie or something like that but you guys can change it you know her name's Veronica so we'll do princess Gwen but it's actually princess Gwendolyn which I absolutely love that for name oh my god and she is a mermaid you guys their daughter would have been a mermaid oh my gosh okay so we can pick some hairstyles for them too we could do Oh, like Amira's hairstyle when she was younger too. Actually, yeah, let's do that. I want I want her to like kind of look like her mother a little bit too. Oh my God, guys, she's so cute. I actually, I know this isn't like a, really like a princess princess dress, but it's such a cute little outfit that I love so, so much. So I think we're going to go with that one. And then I would do some like, cute little like tights and stuff with it too. Oh my God, guys, she's so, so cute. Oh my God, Amira and Makai's daughter would have been the cutest, most beautiful. Oh my God, I'm so excited to see her as a child and teenager too. Okay, so now we can see what she would look like as a child. Oh my gosh, you guys, this would have been the most beautiful. I'm debating, should we keep like the hair like her mother's? There's this one too. There's this one, which I don't think we've actually used yet so okay so there's that one and then we can pick some cute little outfits for her too should we do like a cute little sulani outfit to see what she would look like oh i don't actually have that many sulani outfits like i have the outfits that came with the sulani pack that's pretty much it so but actually no this is really cute this is really really cute to see so oh my god guys she's so beautiful i cannot get over it okay so this would be her cute little sulani outfit you guys she is so gorgeous Oh my god, she- I'm so obsessed with the Sims. She is beautiful. I might just like use her for something in the future because- Oh my god, she's so, so gorgeous, you guys. I, I cannot wait to hear who your guys' favorite sim is after this. I do want to see what she would look like in a ball gown and everything, too. So let's do the, let's do the purple so we can see her like this. I do want to put, like, her hair up and see what she would look like with the tiara and everything, too. Although I know I don't have that many options for them to put their hair up, unfortunately. There's, like, this with, the, like, the bun again, which is what we had for Princess Veronica. But I just, I, I'm just curious to see like what she would look like with the bun and like with the tiara and everything too. So I would want to do like a purple tiara, like if she was the princess of Windenburg or something like that. And then we would do some like cute little earrings. Oh no, those are like super, super big earrings. So let's do something a little bit more simple. Oh, her eyes are so pretty, you guys. She, oh, okay. Let's see what she looks like as a teenager. I'm so excited. Okay. Wait, whoa, whoa. Okay. Well, her hair changed. I feel like, I think it's just because this is a custom content hair, but we know her hair is black, so that's fine. Oh, I see, I see Amira in her. I don't know if you see it, but I totally see it. Yeah, I absolutely see Amira in this girl's face. Like, I, oh, guys, this is so cool. I love seeing this. Oh my gosh, I absolutely love this. Okay, so let's go ahead and do, so oh, there's this hair that I know, I know I've used that hair a lot though. This is the hairstyle that Amira has right now. So that's kind of, like, I can you, I don't know if you guys can see it in her face and like with the blue eyes and everything, but I can absolutely see Amira in her, her eyebrow. She it makes her look just like a little bit mean. I'm trying to think if we did something like that, like that maybe. So you guys can see it like a little bit bit more. I have not used this custom content yet, you guys, and I really need to for a princess because it is so beautiful. Oh my gosh, I love this so much. I love the sleeves with this, you guys. Like, it is just the prettiest thing ever. I do want to change, like, her hairstyle and stuff with this. I know I use this hairstyle all the time, but it looked, it's because it looks so good. Oh, there's this one. Okay, I kind of want to see what this one would look like. So let's do some accessories and makeup. Let's do your eyelashes and we'll do some earrings and stuff too. Guys, 
This is this would be Amira's daughter. Oh, the bracelet. I didn't I didn't mean to pick that for the bracelet because it doesn't really go. But oh my gosh, you guys, this would be Amira's daughter. Amira and Makai's and look. Oh, and then we get to see her as a mermaid too. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited for this. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I'm 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 changing this. This is this is not the outfit I want. But uh okay, so let's do like some okay, what hair was she wearing? That's actually really cute mermaid hair, but I'm trying to think like if she had just like really long mermaid hair like that. Something really, really pretty like this. My gosh, she has, like, look at those abs. Those are like what I aspire to have. That's insane. I do have like a custom content tail. I yeah, I do. Like, look, oh, that's pretty. That's so pretty. Okay, so there's that one. And then I'm trying to think like what like top would go with this. I feel like this is probably the best bet. So there's that one, and then we could also do, like, I don't usually do, like, the shells for the mermaids. I don't, I just don't think that looks as good. Like, I feel like this definitely looks a lot better. But that's her as a mermaid, you guys. Oh, I'm so excited we got to see her as a mermaid. Oh, I am, I'm in love with her. Like, I have so many feels right now. I love her. I love this child, and this child, unfortunately, does not exist. But, oh my gosh, I, like, if it did exist, oh my god, she's so cute. Okay, all right, I have to move on from her, but she's so pretty, you guys. I love her so much. Okay, so I actually wasn't planning on doing six, but I think we might end up doing six because... I was like, oh, all of these kids have like dark hair. I want like a blonde baby. I just want a little bit more variety. So I did get a request for Princess Amira and Prince Francisco's baby because they like were kind of flirting at some point. So it's interesting to see what they would look like. So I do want to see what their son would look like. So we'll kind of just like alternate everything. So we'll get to see their son who is of course blonde because they're both blonde, but it looks like he's definitely got that more Amira blonde to him. Okay, so I feel like this with this hairstyle, like that wouldn't be really like a prince hairstyle because it's like shaved on the side. Oh, this is cute. And like whose eyes does he have? Oh, he must have Oh, I think he has Francisco's eyes. These cute little shorts, you guys. Look how cute this is. <laughs> okay, so what should we name him? Let's name him Adam. Let's do Prince Adam. Okay, so this is Prince Adam. So this would be Amira and Francisco's son. So this would be him as a toddler. I can, I feel like I can already see like Francisco's face in him. I'm, I'm interested to see if he's gonna look like Amira or Francisco, but let's go ahead and age him into a child to see what he would look like. I I see Francisco in him, although he, wait, did the, did the toddler have dark eyebrows? I don't, oh, I guess he did, okay. So yeah, so he's got Amira's eyebrows, I'm pretty sure. So this would be him as a child. I feel like this outfit like definitely works for him. But oh my gosh, guy, oh, he's so cute. Look how handsome he is. But okay, so that's Prince Adam as a child. Okay. Oh, guys. Oh, I see. I see Francisco. I see. I see Francisco's face in him. I definitely do. I think he. Oh wait. Why? Why? What are you doing? That's not what I wanted. Okay. I. I want the dark eyebrows again. So this is a friend. Like yeah. Oh, sorry. This is Amira and Francisco's son. He's really really handsome you guys i think he looks really good i can totally see francisco in him though although you don't want to keep him in those sneakers with the suit and everything so we'll just change that so this would be him as a teenager i'm just going because i do want to speed this up a little bit because i've already been filming for a while and there are just a few more couples i need to get to so this would be prince francisco and princess amira's son prince adam he's super super handsome you guys and he's perfect oh and i just did a random and he got the proper trait just like amira too but he's also absolutely minded so that's not good but that's okay okay so that's prince adam so i was planning on doing princess leilana and prince jack's baby too but i think i'm going to save that for the end at the end i'm just going to do like screenshots of babies just because i don't want this video to take up too much time so stay tuned to the end i'm going to do um I'm, well i'll tell you i'll tell you who i'll do at the, at the end so this is the big one you guys so this is princess may and prince johan so we're going to see what their baby would have looked like which i'm super excited to do guys look how beautiful she was she was so pretty princess may it was beautiful and i'm she doesn't look anything like amira so i'm excited to see what amira or no i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm excited to see what may and johan's baby would look like not that amira and johan not that we've seen what their baby would look like but i do want to do a uh brand wise daughter for them okay so guys so this is their daughter what should we name her let's actually name her i think we're gonna name her princess alice for i i would name if if amira and johan 
ended up getting together, I would, or if Amira's first daughter, I would end up probably naming her Alice May for Amira's mother and sister May. Um, but we'll just call her Princess Alice to kind of pay homage to her mother who did die. So let's go ahead and do, uh, okay, so we'll do a trait for her. So God, oh, she's really cute. I think these are Johan's eyes. So they, she definitely has Johan's eyes, but she is, oh, She's so, so cute. So let's pick a cute little outfit for her. Okay, so this is Princess Alice. I feel like the hair like works for her. Although there are some like other really cute hairstyles. Actually, this is really cute too. I like this a lot. So this is like her with bangs. And then the dress is super cute. I'm pretty sure, I think Princess May might have worn this when she was a toddler too. But okay guys, so this is her as a toddler and then we can see her as a child. So as a child, so let's go ahead and pick a cute little hair. Oh. Oh, that's so cute. Okay, so this is, I mean, that one's cute. Neither of them have curly hair, so I don't really feel like this would fit, but it's still really, really cute, you guys. So let's go ahead, let's do, I like the long hair. I wanna see what she would do. I, I think that this was what Queen Nea had when she was a child. She had this really long hair, but it just looked so good. And it does, it looks so, so good. So, oh, this is like a cute little, like formal dress you got, or like a cute little, I guess casual dress. But it looks so good on her too. Let's see what she would look like in like a big ball. I, you guys have seen this ball gown so many times though. Let's just pick maybe like a different color or something for you guys to see. Okay, so if she were to be the Princess of Brindleton Bay, this is what her dress would look like because their colors are red or is red. Okay, so this is, her oh God, oh, she's so cute. Oh my god, this is Princess Alice. This is what May and Johan's baby would look like if she was a child. She's so, oh, she's so, so cute, you guys. I love her a lot. Okay, so as a teenager, guys, we're excited to see this. Okay, oh, whoa. Okay, this looks completely different than what I thought she would. Maybe it's the hair. Who does she look like? She looks like Johan, I feel like. I think so. I'm trying to think what hairstyle would i feel like this one's really cute actually let's go with this i'm not loving the lipstick so i'm gonna change that too oh yeah the cheeks johan has those cheeks like that's definitely her cheeks i feel like her facial structure is johan for sure and then we can see what she would look like in some like cute little princess dresses too you guys look how pretty this is oh my gosh i love this you guys <laughs> She looks so good. Okay, I want to put I want to see what like she looks like with like the makeup and everything too. There we go Okay, I I, I do think maybe like hair wise. I didn't put tiaras on any of these people or crowns. Oh Whoops, I didn't do any of that my bad. Okay, so let's go ahead and give oh nope That does not work with her hairstyle at all. There's this one. I feel like that kind of works There's this this one works that that one works really well. I feel like she does need a little bit of a different hairstyle though. There's this, there's this one, that one's really cute. And then, so that's like with one of the dresses and then there's like this dress too, which is so pretty, you guys. I love this one a lot also. Oh, you guys, she looks really, really cute. That's what Princess May and Prince Johan's daughter would look like. Oh my gosh, okay. Oh, I didn't give anyone else any any crowns or anything, but I mean, you guys, you, oh, well, no, I, I wanna give her a crown. This is Princess Amira and Prince, or not Prince, and Makai's daughter. But I wanna give, I wanna see what she would look like with a crown too. She would look so pretty, you guys. Oh my God, I love this so much. And then I, I, yeah, I don't have time to give them all tears right now, but you guys, you guys get the idea. So guys, I am going to end this video here. I want you guys to stay tuned though, because I am going to show you guys some of the other requested ones I got. So I will put screenshots of that later and then I'll put like who the parents are and all of that too, so you guys can see that. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. This was so much fun. I had so much fun doing this video. I did not think that this would be like this much fun. So I had a lot of fun. Tell, let me know like who your favorite is and then you guys can count in the screenshots too. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Don't forget to hit that like button if you did and don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notifications if you have not already. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.